On a hot Saturday afternoon, we set off through the tall grass to visit Reverend Ben Atelu at his home in Mela Central Village, Mela Subcounty, Tororo District. Atelu buried his sister a few days ago, and the burial group wants to see how he is faring. Atelu, his wife and niece have been members of Kinyil North fundraising group for five months. The group has 152 members. When his sister died in Iganga, Atelu went into shock and was hospitalized. The group took over, fundraised for the funeral, brought back the body and buried her. I found already the home, there were tents, there were chairs. But unfortunately, that day it was raining. It affected the fundraising. Not all the fundraising groups came. But by God's grace, they raised oh, 1 million, is it 35,000? Like Atelu, many people in Tororo are preparing for their own funerals by joining burial groups. The sub-counties of Mela, Kwapa and Malaba have a total of 38 such groups, most of which charge 10,000 shillings as membership fee. Whenever we lose somebody, there is need to sell land. And yet time for burial, people come to attend the burial. So we looked and said, why don't we mobilize our people such that at ta such a time of a need, let everybody contribute 1,000 shillings. The group started when a family in Katek village was faced with the dire choice of selling land and holding a decent funeral for their sister or burying her in a cheap coffin and not having enough money to feed the mourners. In African societies, it is a taboo to meet your ancestors as a pauper. Hence, burials have become a very expensive affair nowadays. But a burial can eat you out of house and home if you are not part of an insurance scheme. Every week, members deposit 1,000 shillings in the group. When a member loses a relative, a budget is drawn up and the group fundraising is held at 6 p.m. Then, each of the 38 groups tops up with 50,000 shillings. Every group should open up an account in the book, in the bank they like. So that is how we have kept our money safe. Today, the committee that heads the 38 groups has been asked to fundraise in their individual groups for a member who has lost his mother. However, there are rules. They do not fundraise for members who commit suicide, who die as a result of abortion, or those who are killed during a robbery or while committing adultery. I call that one a mistake. Because whether someone has committed suicide, we need to bury him. Whether someone has been killed in, a, in an adultery. However, even with the benefits, some villagers still shun the barrier groups. In times of death, they force us as chairpersons that come and help us. So when we don't go, are the people who come in and begin quarreling with us. In Tororo town, residents are catching up. Ongoye Arom group, which was started five months ago and covers six villages in Amago A Parish, has 925 members. Help also the young ones that have lost their dear fathers or mothers. However, today only a few members have turned up for a group meeting held in a bar. While African funerals are expensive, barrier groups in rural areas are now the answer. It is an idea that urban societies can also pick up because the community-driven burial groups in Tororo do not only attend burials. They also fundraise to help old widows and children who drop out of school. Gillian Nantume, NTV.